When this BMW Z3M first got dropped off to us, it was looking a little bit sorry for itself, to say the least. Is that what you think that is? Yeah, that's kaffir tape. But these cars are now 20 years old, which can only mean it's gonna start showing signs of aging. And at a closer look, you can see why. And only having had the car for a few weeks now, it's already undergone quite the transformation. We've tidied up the engine bay, we've restored the headlights, and refurbished the calipers with replacing the brakes and getting the wheels powder coated, which gets us up to this point. Right, that's done, and I must say, it is looking so good in there. Okay, so just a quick sneak peek. <laughs> oh yes, look at that, right. That's what you're seeing. And with that being the last episode, for you guys that have been following this Z3M, through this restoration, rebuild, repaint, I mean, this has definitely gone on a bit since being a repaint, we'll know that we got this in paint, but I didn't really show you it done. But now I can walk around in the spray booth and I haven't got to worry about anything potentially coming off of me and landing in the fresh paint because this has been sat a few days now, it's nice and dry. And in the meantime, I've been doing a ton of paint stripping while this has been sat in here, which we're gonna be getting onto in a minute once we get this back in the workshop, but just thought I'd give you guys a quick little look around this because this is looking absolutely stunning. Wearing this nice fresh coat of Estral Blue with this clear coat sat on the top of it. Look how glossy this is. Really, really nice. And I know it's only a roof and pillars, but I'm just so pleased that this part of this repaint is done because we can now get this back in the workshop, polish this up, take all this bag off, and then we can finally start getting this rebuilt. As I'm still waiting for BMW to still drop us off a load of parts for this, so we can start getting it back together once it's been polished, it's just gonna have to sit aside for the time being because I have so much prep work to do on all the panels for this. And when I say I've been doing a lot of paint stripping lately, I wasn't exaggerating. Look at the size of this damn bonnet. This thing is absolutely humongous. I mean, I'm just like six foot and this isn't much shorter than me in height, like this way. It's absolutely huge. But the good thing with this is, I'm probably wrapping up half a job in one panel because, I mean, if you think about it, it's actually like half the size, <laughs> nearly, of the actual car. But luckily, when I paint stripped this, I didn't find no nasties, there was no filler in it at all. There's a couple of little dents. I've got one just here, a tiny little dent, which is there. I mean, it's like a stone chip dent. And then I've got a dent in the wheel arch here to sort. So overall, this isn't too bad. But this quarter panel on the other hand is a bit of a different story. And that's just because there was so much filler in this panel, especially in this area here. If you can see it, it's like all stained. And I think this is just where someone sanded it up with something really aggressive and then put all this filler in the top of it. I mean, they've had a go at it with a hammer and dolly and they haven't done a too bad a job, but it definitely could be a lot better especially getting this swage line back. I mean, it's completely flat here. It's almost just like a flat round as for it's nice and sharp here. So I wanna get this swage line back in it. I think I'm gonna get a file and just file down all the little high spots in this area. Get my hammer and dolly, take all these dents out. So there's still gonna be a little bit of filler going this, but just not as much. And I don't mean this sort of dolly. This is a panel dolly. <laughs> This is now feeling so much better. Even just for a file, it just improved it loads, but I've now managed to get this swage line back in here the whole way through. It's nice and sharp. You can see it's a lot more prominent now. I've got a tiny little dent in it here. Got a tiny little dent in it down here, which I'm gonna sort out. But overall, I mean, yeah, I'd get this now with just a thin skim of filler, which is gonna make this such a nice repair. This quarter panel overall isn't actually all that bad. There's a tiny little dent going on in it in the swage line there but overall I mean yeah this is really good there's no filler in this whatsoever so this I know is going to be nice I might even be able to just get that out with my hammer and dolly and not put any filler in that at all that would be that would be nice and now I'm happy with the repairs on these panels I just want to get a bit of epoxy primer on the areas that I've repaired so I'm going to get a bit of epoxy primer in on the front there a bit on this wheel arch here, might see a little bit of filler, but I reckon I'd block that out of the epoxy primer. That's actually really nice and straight. And considering how bad that was before, it was all kinked and dented in here. 
I've got the two quarter panels, this one being the worst one. This one just having a little pin dent in it there, but I've got that out, filed that all out of the swage line, so that's really nice. I just want to get a bit of epoxy primer in on that, just because I filed the metal, and this one being the worst one, but I mean, overall, this has actually come out really nice now. It's definitely going to want a little bit of filler, bearing in mind, but it's a massive improvement and there's not gonna be no way near as much filler going on this. I mean, just look at how much better this swage line is now looking. And I am only epoxy priming the areas that have been repaired. So I still need to get these back in the workshop to block that down, to still do any filler work that needs doing on these panels, to then get them back in here to epoxy prime the complete panel, high build prime the complete panel, get them back in the workshop to rubble that down, to get them back in here for paint. I've still got to strip the doors out. I've still got to do the same thing on these as I have got to do on the doors. I've still got to do the two wings, so yeah, I've still got a ton of work to do. And for any of you guys that are sat there wondering, what on earth is an epoxy primer? It's just a product that we put down on bare metal because it's a good etch primer, and it also doesn't absorb any moisture, which makes it really good to fill onto. And the epoxy primer I'm gonna be using for this is this Novo Classic Car Range Epoxy Primer. Now this is a three to one mixed product. It's a two-pack product as well, with this being the hardener, this being the epoxy in here. So two nice coats of this on them panels is going to seal up the metal, it's not going to let any moisture in, and it's also going to give us a really nice foundation to fill onto. And now the epoxy primer is down on these panels, I need them to sit for a few days to fully harden off so I can fill onto the top of it without worrying about any shrinkage or sink packs. But in the meantime, it means we can just start getting the Z3M put back together, which actually worked out quite well, because then BMW turned up with a load of parts. So I'm just hoping with what BMW have just dropped off should be the remaining pieces to this puzzle with getting this rebuilt. Now I know we've got the front screen there which is this at the back. There's no cracks in that. Probably want to put that up out of the way somewhere. I've got the rear screen in here for the tailgate because the original one was delaminated. We've got the two brake pipes there. Well I'm only presuming that's what's in here. Yep, sounds pretty good. Already been through that box. This in here is a rubber for the front screen. And what is in there? Oh, that is the sunroof surround. Or should be, haven't looked yet. Because this one is just completely rotten. Hopefully, yep. Thank you, BMW. That is the one piece that I need most right now, but just make sure that that's not damaged before we get too excited. Nah, it all looks good. So that is really good news because that is the one piece that I need most so we can start getting this put back together. And as you can see, I've took the wheels back off of this. Now that is for two reasons. One is I've got to do the front brake lines on this. And two, the car sits a lot lower on the ramp and it's just gonna make my life a lot easier with getting this polished up. But before I start doing any polishing on this whatsoever, this next bit is gonna probably surprise some of you, if not most of you, because believe it or not, I actually have to sand down the paintwork that I've just put on this to polish it up to achieve the finish I want. And that's mostly due to getting a couple of these little paint nibs, and they are tiny. To remove them, I use a bit of 2000 wet flat paper on a block, which ends up like this. I then use a 3000 Trizac disc on my DA sander going over the complete paintwork, which is going to leave me with a nice even finish to polish, which should look like this and then using my rotary machine polisher, some cutting compound, and a little bit of experience at least, I do not advise doing this. If you've never done any machine polishing in your life before, because you will quickly burn through, and trust me, you do not want to be doing that. I get it all polished up, removing any polish residue using a microfiber cloth, which leaves me with a finish that looks like this. And now this bit's done, we can finally start the rebuild with getting this put back together, which means I can now organize for Paul to come back out to get the screen back in and the sunroof surround, and we can really start putting this back together, which is all gonna come in the next few episodes. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to keep hitting that like button, 
hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, this is honestly my favorite bit. Ah. Oh. So satisfying. <laughs> oh, that is satisfying. I don't know why I started singing then. <laughs>